Hello humans! So I am on Mocha here. In this video, depending on how much money I have right now, like in the game, I might have to have two parts to it, but I am going to try and unlock Mr. Clydesdale. It m might take like many, many parts to this video, but I'm going to try my best because I, I do want to unlock him. Anyways, we're gonna take Mocha here on the barrel race and on the barrels, which is what I'm best at. Not not in Roblox, so I'm I'm not very good at it in Roblox. Oh gosh, it's not as easy. Oh, did I miss the? Oh, dang it! Mocha's beautiful though in this game. I am. I'm really happy that. There, like, well, I just like it's it's kind of funny because gray is my favorite color on a horse, and thoroughbred's my favorite breed, so it's kind of funny. Gray thoroughbred. I do tend to see a lot of thoroughbreds with like um. Oh, there's no coat with this specific name. It doesn't have a name, but you tend to see it on thoroughbreds. It's like black, but it's they've got like shiny fur. And, it, and then there's, like, brown on it. I'm not sure. There's no, like, there's uh, the horse experts. There is no name for that kind of coat. But I know you might thinking be thinking of something else. But I'm trying to know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. Um, uh, but, yeah, this video might not appeal to very many people, but... I realized that my last upload was five days ago, and I'm like, oh, I must have, I probably have a pre-recorded file in here somewhere. <laughs> no. Nope. So, I thought this was urgent. It's because, yeah. I don't understand why I'm leaning forwards while riding. I'm not a show jumper. I'm not doing show jumping. I don't understand the need for an English saddle on barrel racing. Like, there's only one English style thing here. I think there should be different types of saddles. Or you should be able to choose which type you want to do. Because this is western. And when you're just riding... So, these little things over here. Those arenas. Those small little circles right there. You use western saddles when you're riding around the arena. At least you should. That's what you're supposed to do. I mean, you could use English. But, I guess. I don't know. Just... I guess if you're warming up your horse, but whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Then, then, yeah. And these horses don't even have saddle pads. Like, does this not hurt? This must hurt. It's probably worse than riding bareback. And you're. And I hope you know that anyone who rides bareback, and I don't mean like with the saddle pad, bare bareback. That's horrible, and the horse doesn't like it. Horses can't be ridden bareback, and they can't be ridden with just saddles. I mean, you could, like, walk them around with just a saddle pad if you're allowed to. Like, just for a little bit. You can ride reinless, but not saddleless. The horse doesn't like that. I don't care if they're smiling. They don't enjoy that. I don't really think they smile while they have a bit in their mouth. They really hate that. They're always fooling around with the bit in their mouth. Oh, come on, Mocha. Okay, how much till I... Oh, my goodness. Come on, Mocha. You can do this. I don't know what to talk about. Um... Ah. Oh, yeah, I have a video that I'm going to be posting on my horse channel in a couple weeks. And um, on Saturday, I got to ride this adorable little horse named Billy Ray. Call him Billy. He looks really short compared to the other trail horses. But then again, they have horses. Like, they have some trail horses where I ride that are, like, 20 hands. So, so, and he's probably only 14 or 15 hands, which is 
14 could be considered short, but I don't. Like, as soon as your horse hits 14 hands, they're no longer pony-sized. So it's not small. And horses aren't small. Like, of course, the foal might be, or the, like, mini, mini ponies. Like, baby, po oh my gosh, foal, pony foal are so cute. Well, horses are just adorable. Um, oh, yeah, this, oh, she, yeah. She's just thoroughbred. She really jumps like a jumping horse. She, yeah, they're used for jumping, but I hate it when people brand horse breeds as a certain type, as as a certain discipline, as well as when your horse isn't broke yet, and you just assume they're going to be like this. Like, let your horse decide what they want to do. I mean, not as in, like, they literally pick, but which one they enjoy. Like, they're all, it's like, you cannot brand a horse with a certain discipline. Thoroughbreds were not, well, they might have been made for English, but you can't always force them to do that. I love seeing thoroughbreds with Western saddles, and not only because it means then I get to ride them. <laughs> but because you can't brand them with a certain type of discipline. Like, sure, draft horses can't jump, but you still can't be like, oh, I'm going to make sure you do trail riding. Like, what if the horse wants to be a famous barrel racer? That'd be so cute. I'm going to move on to the ring. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you, you do that. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Come back. Uh, this one's so difficult because you never know where it's going to go. Oh, yeah, Billy, while I was running. He has, he's scared of the corners in the arena. It's actually really cute. I didn't get mad at him because he's scared of the corners. He's an old man. He has a daughter, actually. Her name is Miley. I got to ride her as a trail horse before. Um... He's scared of the corners. It's really sweet, actually. He refuses to go in the corners, and I have to like be like, okay, we're trying to, we're trying to, um, not get the um the person watching us ride to get mad at us. So please, Billy, can you go in the corner? We did occasionally, but then when you trot with him, he leaves you with no control. Whether you have had years of experience, he's like, no, I'm going to the center of the arena. I don't have years and I do have years and years of experience, actually. Never mind. Um, but he just he doesn't like it. He hates corners. He's a really he's a really nice trotter. Trotter though, as long as you as long as your stirrups are nice and they fit you. Sorry if if people don't know anything about horses, this is gonna make no sense to you. But as long as your stirrups and saddle, like he's got his own saddle and stirrup because he's super tall, you can't ride a super small horse. But um. Yeah, as long as your stirrups fit with the saddle, like, he he trots so well. He's, he's, he guess he's experienced, but it just, it's very good. It's kind of sad how people will assume that riding a horse is easy just because it looks like, seriously, when you're trotting on a horse, it, you, you bounce. Like, whether your stirrups fit or not, you bounce. And it looks so smooth in videos, and it's like, oh, no, but <laughs> the first time I tried it on Miley, I was, like, her stirrups fit and whatever, but it was the first time I'd ridden in quite some time. It was, um, I was so sore, and then you get a video, it's like, oh, that looked amazing. I don't feel amazing. <laughs> nope. But full, like, running with them is very smooth. Yeah. In a video that I think is posting soon on my horse channel, um, I got to ride this horse named Maya. She did not like me. My stirrups did not fit, and neither of us were very happy about that. Because whenever we went for a trot, I would practically almost fly off her. Oh man. But she's a she's a good horse, but she always bent down to eat and you can't get her head back up. She's crazy. In the video that's being posted, you can actually see my dad's horse. She's a Clydesdale. She has blue eyes. Her name is Libby, and she was just swerving because he has no idea how to ride a horse. She was just like everywhere, eating. Just It was really funny, actually. I looked kind of like a rag doll on her because I was kind of, I don't know what I was doing. It looked like I was asleep or I was a rag doll. <laughs> it didn't, it was, it was weird. Okay, it was extremely weird. Let's 
See, I'm leaning back like I'm about to jump. And what's with this? Thing? Watch. Wait, when my horse jumps, I just sink into the saddle. I, I don't want the American saddle. I mean, I don't have anything against America. It's just... I guess, like, there's there's nothing wrong with having an American saddle. It just feels weird. Because if I, like, if I was doing a show and I had an American saddle, it wouldn't make sense because it's not where I'm from. But it really doesn't matter. It's a cute saddle. I just prefer a Western one. How much longer? Well, we're almost there. I cannot do the English part of this game. So after I'm filled with this, I'm selling my heart. I I hate how it's like sell, not return back to barn. Like if this was my game, well, if it was my game, it'd be completely different because it would be rodeo. It'd be like rodeo, and it'd be western, but it wouldn't be called horse horse riding. It would, would be horse riding. But it wouldn't be like Western horse riding simulator. And then I wouldn't personally, I would make an English one, but I don't know a lot about doing English. That's why if I did, or I was an all around rider, of course I would. Or like half of it's Western, half of it's English and there's different saddles and you pick a discipline to stick with. To stick with, you don't get to change. Well, you, you can change in real life. It's just in the game because it's too much work. <laughs> Where is the star? I don't understand. Like, you would never actually ride like this in the arena. It's not like, okay. Well, are, the arena's not circular. I don't understand that. Like, you don't ride around in the paddock because that's where your horse chills when they're outside. Bridle. Okay, the horse has no bridle. I just attached the reins to her mouth. Oh, poor horsey. She's in pain. This isn't very nice. Yeah, the, the the horses are nice or nicely done, but it's like nothing else really is. Oh my gosh, I don't understand why the Frisian isn't like later. Like horses like Frisian deserve to be after the thoroughbred. They're beautiful. And they all look the same except the Appaloosa. It's funny though. It doesn't look like an Appaloosa though. I mean sorta. It's got straw hair, though. Like, what's with the Frisian? Frisians, most of the time, you'll see them with, like, fur around their hooves and fur and manes that, like, touch the ground. Same with gypsy banners. I mean, maybe that's not a Clyde Steel. Maybe it is a gypsy banner. It, it didn't look like one, though. Like, when I saw some dude riding it, it definitely had Clyde Steel written all over it. And ovals around its feet. It's no good. Oh, it's no good. I don't even, how long, I don't, I'm not even checking the time. I don't know how long I've been recording. It's probably not been very long, but it could have been 40 minutes at the same time. Okay. I will not sit here and barrel race for the next hour and a half, so I'm sorry, Mocha, but ugh, I'm done with this already. Why can't I be the ranch owner, huh? See, why are you the ranch owner? Yeah, you just want the money. You don't. You don't even like horses. Ugh. Yeah, they don't. I guess because you don't really wear a uniform while riding Western. I guess you could. You can't. You just don't normally. It's annoying. Like, sorry for saying this, but they only ever put English riding in, like, TV shows. And it's cherished for some reason. Just because the horse gets to jump and not, like, ride around barrels or trail ride like what's like why i mean i get it it makes the stuff more expensive and writing english is extremely expensive but at the same time like why is it more important it's not it's no more important it's no better than western it's no better than trail riding or barrel racing or roping driving flicks you know what i mean like team penning it's no better it's not fair 
really it's not it's like oh what oh you do horseback riding yeah i do western what's that excuse me yes yeah, i only watch horse tv shows so all they do is jump like if you ask a non-horse experienced person like what is horseback riding they'll say jumping and they'll say this like the small saddles they won't say like the the western saddles you know they'll say the english saddles and the cute uniforms i just i think that's kind of like i would much rather see a show where they don't jump at all and i'm not just saying this because i'm a western writer i still realize this as an english writer that it's just not fair how much credit they get for jumping and we don't for like riding around barrels and practically falling off the horse excuse me like they're both equally as dangerous you got you ride at your own risk horseback riding and i'm gonna get into an entire rant and i said i was gonna not just you know whatever just, it's not fair <laughs> i know i'm not a kid and i shouldn't be yelling it's not fair but seriously it's not we are just as important as you english writers and i know that most of you know that but no really though do you no probably shouldn't be turning comments on for this video everyone's just gonna yell at me anyways um i'll see you in the the, the whatever the next video like yeah i i don't know bye <laughs>